Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Postload User Exit. In today's session, we will see how the Postload User Exit works. We know that there are several processes involved during the MDM execution. The processes such as state job, load job, tokenization job, match job, and merge job. The post load user exit, it is a part of the load process. So this is the diagram where the process flow of the load process is mentioned. The first step is we have to register the load job. Once you register the load job, the load job or the MDM hub actually update or insert the record into the base object. The first record will be get updated or inserted Immediately after that, the post load user exit will be get call and then the second record will be processed. After su successful processing of the second record, the post load user exit again will get executed. And thus so on the process goes. As we know, the load process is executed in the block, like the block of the 100 record or the block of 1 million record. So based on that block size 1 which we are defined during the configuration, the number of records will be processed in each block. So the so the execution of the load process happens in the block and the execution of the load process happens within that block after each processing each record processing. So once the one block of uh, code or block of records get executed, MDM hub check whether there are still some blocks are available or not. If the blocks are available, then record again start to insert the record from the second block then it will execute the post load user exit and thus so on the other records will be processed from the that block again it mdm hub will check whether the record is still present to uh, to process in any other block if the if the again it is uh, we uh, it, again if the mdm hub notice there are still some blocks to be executed then the process continues and finally when there is no block to execute the a uh, it is the load job will get stopped and once it is low uh, job gets stopped the second th table that is called strip table get get populated with the newly inserted the updated uh, records row id object and based on that value the tokenization will be generated this this diagram is explained in this sequence of the execution slide the post load user exit runs within the load process in the following sequence. First, Informatica MDM hub registers the load job first. And then the next step is Informatica, hum, Informatica MDM hub updates or insert the first record of the first block. Then the post loader, post load user exit will run. Informatica MDM hub repeats the step two and three for the remaining records in the block. Similarly, uh, and then the records will be get committed. Similarly, if there is still some blocks available for update or insert, then the second block of the records will start execution. And then the Informatica MDM will look for the, the registered the post load user exit and it will execute after each record insertion or the updation. The still process will continue till the point the all the blocks get successfully processed. After that, if the strip on load indicator equals to one, the tokenization job generated the match tokens, which is required to perform the fuzzy matching. So this is the sequence of the execution. When to use the post load user exit. In order to perform the custom processing after the data load, we need to use a post load user exit. That means if you want to do some custom operation on the data into the base object immediately after the data load, then we can go and use the post load user exit. Examples, populate custom column based on the existing column, such as for example, you have the two column, column one and column two. And if you want to populate column two based on the value in the column one, yes, we can go and use the post load user exit. So here is the example, populate the custom column based on the existing column such as based on the various indicator 
determine y or n flag for the active column so this is the example suppose there is like um, um, customer indicator or business indicator based on that value we can determine y or n value for the active column or like the if you know the disease indicator like the a person has got a date so in that case if the person is then we can make as a record as deactive by or we can mention as the active column as a n so this is a, a very good example of the post load user exit so which user interface we are going to use for the post load user exit creation the name of interface is post load user exit it available in the package com.informatica.mdm.userexit which comes with the mdm ue.jar pack jar file the method it is having one which we need to override that is nothing but the process user exit it has a parameters like first parameter is user exit context second is action type then we have the map of the base object data then the map of cross reference data and the list of map of the cross reference data it throws the generic exception called as an exception so let's go and start a demo on this so how to implement the user exit so we are already implemented here the name of the class i gave is mdm post load user exit an interface implemented is post load user exit this is the interface we are going to implement once we implement it asks us to override the method method name is post uh, process user exit it uses the several common at uh, common variables like log which is lo reference to the logger class config helper which is reference to the config which will give us the sapn client instance then uh, in the method we have defined the very first logger that is post load with the mdm post load user exit process started then we are retrieving the table name from the user exit context by calling the get table name then uh, we have the table name we are checking whether the table is address means if, the, if you are loading the data for the address table and once we successfully know that it is the address table we are going and retrieving its uh, last updated and created by this code convention so we are getting the base object data and from that we are pulling the record one by one so we are pulling the first record and then we are getting the first records uh, row id then the last update date and the create date we are storing those value as a global variable one which uh, local variable to this method and then we are checking if the last updated is not null if last updated we are comparing with the created the compare to method returns so if the last update date is greater than created create date then compare to will return one if last update date equals to create date then compare to return zero if last update date is less than create date then the compare to will return minus one so that means if the last update date is greater than create date this condition will fulfill and we will we can see this execution so so let's try to load the data and we will see whether this logger statements will printed in the log file or not according to our convention so let's see what data we have in the landing table so there are basically two tables I would like to show you the schema so there are two table customer and the address and we are loading the address table and we'll check uh, how the post load user exit works so whenever we update like customer address multiple times whether it is going to execute our code or not so let's see and the date uh, what data we have in the landing table in the customer table we have the two records and in the address table we have two records so let's run the customer record means we have to run the stage of first and then the load job because the post load user exit get executed only during the load process not during the stage process yes we have the other stage process user exit you can refer my other videos how to write that the two record got inserted during the stage job for the customer 
Now we are running the address stage job. And it says that there are two records which got rejected. Let's see the what is the reason. This search type is enter. Okay. So I think the mapping, uh, I will just modify the mapping little bit in order to process this record. And just so I'm making this is country. Okay, so now we can continue and run the stage of again. So this time it should process all the record. Okay, it is saying the failed. Let's see. My bit is processing. Okay, let me delete this empty objects. I'm saving this. Let's go and run the job again. Let me uh, look into this. Okay, so I just cleaned the table and now I can see there are two records inserted for the address table. Let's start to load the customer table. So during customer load, the post loader user exit will be executed, but the, the code which we wrote for that our specific condition that will not be get executed. So it is, doesn't matter if you check for the customer. So I'm loading the customer now, uh, address now. So this time the user exit, we can see the couple of the logger lines that will be available. So there are two records got inserted. Now the these logger lines, the post load 001, 003, 4, those should be available. So I'm just copying those things and we will check uh, whether the logs is properly populated or not. The logs I am checking is the JBoss because my logger is pointing to the uh, the application server logs. I'm just reloading and I'm just searching so I can see there is log like the 003 that is the cost that is 2 that is means row id 2 then again it is processed row id 3 also uh, the more one more thing uh, so it, when it is also processing 004 here is the 004 that is last updated it is printing 005 is created and then I'm checking uh, 006 whether it is populated or not. Yes, of course, now we can see this is 006 also get properly printed. So this is the way we actually execute the post user exit. You can write your custom or business logic as per your business need. Uh, so this is the conclusion that uh, you, the post load user exit we actually use to process the custom thing or custom operation on the base object based on any other column. I hope this session is helpful for you. If you have any questions about the post load user exit or any other topic of the Informatica MDM, you can mention below or you can subscribe my channel also you can click the right click on uh, on this subscribe button so that you can subscribe my channel thank you for watching the video have a nice time